Things are happening fast. I'm talking freight train fast. I hope you're ready to take that first step toward that big shoe deal you've been dreaming of for so long. Man, what are you talking about now? Jordan and Nike are interested in you. Very interested. What? Why don't you just say that? Because I masked my own crippling insecurities in an avalanche of words. My analyst says it's a flaw. But now that we're friends, I think we can be honest with each other. Besides, the timing wasn't quite right. Listen, we're not friends. But what else? There's a catch you may not like. The gatekeeper of this here deal used to play in the league until his knee exploded like a Chinese New Year parade. Ha ha! My man! Jackson Ellis. Jackson Ellis? In living color, in the flesh, large and in charge. You name it, I am it. And here I am. Oh, nah. This is personal. Oh, so you working for Nike and Jordan now? Fun twist, right? I mean, that's one way to put it. Game's coming together. Like what I see. We're watching and, uh, we're interested. But what? It's early. You're still not that far removed from being a 10-day contract nobody. And this company didn't get to be number one by dealing with nobody. Well, you know what? It's too bad that we can't play one-on-one for it. You broke me. Yeah. Too bad. Mm. You know... When I was playing this game, dominating the NBA, it was my whole existence. No girlfriend, no wife, every day. This was it. So when the doc told me I was done, it was like my soul got ripped from my butt. <laughs> I was emptied out. I even cried. Real tears. And then this here opportunity came along. A new game. A game I liked even more. And why is that? Because I always get to choose who wins. I'll be watching. Should I celebrate with Al Jefferson? If you don't mind chilling with a young fella like me, let's do it. Uh oh. Uh oh. In the GM's office after we celebrate. That girl I met at that restaurant on 89th. I knew I shouldn't trust her. I left my phone on the table while I was talking to a friend. She sent messages to all my clients. This is all on me. 100% my fault. He was just playing. He knew we'd never discuss another team while we're still in her contract here. Gotta believe me, man. Ooh. Telling the agent so, to go sit down. Is that how this all went down? Just a big misunderstanding that started with a stolen cell phone? I'm focused on the team, man. Sir, I don't know how that message got sent or leaked out publicly, but I want to let you know I'm 100% behind our team. I'm ready to play in our next game in our uniforms right here at home. I'm ready to go like always. That's good enough for me, son. Now get back to work. I suggest you password protect that phone of yours. <laughs> Already done. Man, come on. Go. Oh my gosh. Oh, agent. Oh, GM. Look at this. We're all having fun out here. Forget it. You know, you're a professional athlete in the middle of the season. You got, you got enough to worry about. Man, bump all that, man. You family, coach. What's going on? <sighs> all right. Engineers from the county said the gym at the school has structural damage that, quote, poses a significant threat to the public. Until such a time repairs can be made, the structure must be shut down, unquote. Hold on. I'm going to close the gym. Our gym? Unless we get a sudden infusion of cash. Look, it hurts to ask. You could contribute financially. You know, the coaches, the faculty, the kids. I'd really appreciate it. You wouldn't have to go across town and play at that rec center. Heck, we could, you know, name the gym after you. What do you, what do you think? I'm always willing to help my coach out. I'll do it. 
brought me into your home, your heart, and your team. I'm more than happy to help out any way I can. And that includes financial. I'm so proud of you. The man you've become. Thank you. Hey, Coach, no problem. I've got you. Forever. See you later. Call you later. Any reason you're in such an offensive groove tonight? The reason? The reason? The reason is I'm the lead scorer with crazy offensive skills. Do you be watching or not? What kind of questions are these? Okay, let's go over to the man on the aisle. What's your question? You had a good defensive game. Don't you wish your teammates would help you on that end a little more? Blah, blah, blah. Cliche, cliche. Blah, blah. Print that. Ah, uh, you, sir. Everyone's talking about your little social media snafu. Care to comment? No comment. I'd like to keep that private. Private? <laughs> That's a good one. Maybe you should have thought about that before blasting your intentions to lead the team to the universe. You know what? You live and you learn, so let's move on. Move on. To the next team, most likely. Hey, listen. We're good. I spoke with the organization and the powers that be. We've decided to move on together. So, there's no story here. Stop fishing. He's right. We're done here. Those purple pants again. Well done. Thank you. So with this social media scandal thing going, you've alienated your teammates, the fans, and management. That wasn't my intention. But that's what happened. That's why I keep an extra cell at home just for conversations I want to keep to myself. And that bad boy never leaves the house. An extra cell? Just keep your intentions to yourself. We're all disposable in this league. All I really care about is your mindset. How you feeling? I feel good. I'm still focused on what matters. That's his team, my job, and the rest of the season. Good, but words are one thing, actions are another. You're going to have to bust your butt over the next few weeks to earn the respect and trust of your teammates again. Can you do that? Absolutely, man. Those are my boys. Good. Time to prove it. Now get out of here. Yes, sir. Yes, sir.